you will never ever ever become a great network engineer just by using packet tracer or gns3 at some point you're gonna have to evolve and get your hands on some real world equipment i mentioned this in last week's video where it was all about the network engineering skill that every beginner must have. And I think it's so important that we talk about that in this week's video, uh, the importance of building your home lab, because this is what really bridges that gap between the theory and the real world application. And it's gonna get you that CCNA, it's gonna get you that first CCNA job, whatever the case may be. Trust me, after we're finished with this video, just putting this the skill of putting a lab together you're going to feel like you leveled up more more confident being a network engineer that you are already also make sure you stick around to the end because i'm going to give you a bonus tip on really how to expand this lab that way you don't just have to stop here you can expand it for your studies for ccna maybe cybersecurity, maybe cloud or anything so if you're interested in any of that make sure you lock in with me till the end of the video so let's go ahead and get started with building out this first home lab for you all right, so you're not gonna need a whole bunch of money to just, just get started. You can pretty much get everything for under a hundred bucks if you shop around. You can go on to eBay, look onto Amazon. They have kits and stuff as well. What you see here is two Cisco switches and a router. Um, it doesn't really matter what model you get. You definitely need some ethernet cables and some console cables to be able to console into it. And of course the PC or laptop that you're gonna use. All right, again, guys, you don't want to overcomplicate things. The model numbers, if they're the 2000s, 3000s, those switches are going to be for smaller businesses. The smaller the number, it's for smaller uh, smaller enterprises. The bigger number, 4000s and above, you're getting into medium to large size businesses. Don't overcomplicate it when you're shopping around for that. And where I'm going to start off, I'm just plugging up the switches here, both of the switches, and we're going to do... We're, what the plan is, is to connect the router to switch one and then daisy chain switch one to switch two. And this whole setup is perfect, especially if you're trying to have CCNA labs, because it's going to mimic the real world network topologies that you're going to face out there. So you want to just make sure everything is going to be really secure. And also, you're just going to definitely make sure everything is powered up. So I'm, I'm installing the router as well here, just getting the power cords and everything. Just doing all of this hands-on stuff. This gets you introduced to layer one. This is all power and cabling. This is what you're gonna be troubleshooting at this part of the lab setup. This is the physical topology. This is what goes into all of that. You're gonna have to take those plans that may be drawn out and you're gonna have to put those plans into real world systems or you're going to have to troubleshoot stuff and or guide people to say hey go to switch one port two but since you're hooking everything up you're going to know where everything has to go so right here again just daisy chaining switch one to switch two no configuration this is just to see just the lights that blink and everything like that before you're in the real world and you have to do this stuff even with consoling in you want to console in before you have to do it in the real world and this is what a packet tracer lab is not going to get you. So again, under a hundred bucks, go ahead and spend the money, spend the time, invest in yourself. And right here, I'm just taking gig zero zero of the router, which is pictured up there on top. And I'm just connecting that down into the switches. So now we have a router in our network and we have those two switches. And you just want to pay close attention to the ports because you'll be using these a lot in these CCNA labs. And right here, I'm just setting up the console connection to be able to console into these routers. That way you can configure them and you can log into them with just basic commands like enable or configure terminal. These are going to be the building blocks of any kind of Cisco setup that you're going to do. After you've tested everything and you verify that you're able to console in and that you can make configurations to the equipment, whether it's the router or the switch, 
You just want to get familiar with it. Um, you're not going to be doing any configurations at this point. This is just mainly to see how long does a router take to boot up. These are just things that you're not going to be able to get on an exam. So you're just going to have to go through these things and learn these things on your own. Um, look at a blank running config. Just get familiar with the running config of a router. Here's that bonus tip that I promise. So as you advance in your CCNA studies, make sure that you're expanding your lab. Add devices like this, this Linksys wireless router that I added for cybersecurity. Or my next project, I'm going to be adding a PFSense firewall. And then connecting all of that to my home network and learning how to secure my local network from my internet connection and VPNs and all of that stuff and learning how all of that works together. If you do all of these things, that's how you're going to level up to be that IT pro that you're working to become. All right, that's it. Your CCNA home lab is ready and you just conquered layer one of the OSI model. Understanding this important physical layer is the foundation of everything in networking. But make sure that you keep watching this playlist and you'll master all seven layers step by step because next week, make sure to turn on the notifications where we tackle layer two and configuring VLANs and really taking your skills to the next level. So make sure to lock in with me and let me help you build your CCNA expertise. I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace.